Now, which of the following findings is most consistent with a diagnosis of hyperglycemia? Would it be A, pale, cool, and clammy skin, B, sudden onset of confusion, C, fruity breath odor and polyuria, or would it be D, rapid improvement with glucose administration? So right now we're trying to determine what's the difference between hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia. On an exam, I always tell students, cool and clammy, they need some candy, hot and dry, they might be high. So I'm looking for these type of signs and symptoms whenever I'm taking a test. And the first one that pops out is pale, cool, and clammy. Like I said, cool and clammy, they'll need some candy, which means that would be for a hypoglycemic patient. We can go ahead and rule that one out. B, sudden onset of confusion, something that we often see with hypoglycemia. And the last one here, D, rapid improvement with glucose administration. Sounds like we'd be treating a hypoglycemic patient. The answer is C, fruity breath odor and polyuria. The fruity breath odor is something that we would note with DKA or diabetic ketoacidosis while the patient blows off ketones. On an exam, they're either going to say fruity breath or acetone breath. And polyuria, it just means frequent urination. The patient could have the three Ps polyuria, polydipsia, and polyphagia. And that's polyphagia with a G. That means increased hunger, increased thirst, and increased urination.